The Star Center. Space to inspire. The Star Center aims to attract as many young people as possible and take them away from the norm, away from the mundane, and into a world that is unlike anything at school. Our unique learning environment features several learning zones, all purposefully designed to encourage and stimulate interest in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The briefing room is where the students start their day with a short introduction before commencing the program of missions. The versatile seating can accommodate up to 60 students, or the seats can be rolled back to make a standard sized classroom if required. The seating looks down onto a presentation area, which is equipped with a podium and interactive whiteboard. The Cosmodome is a new generation planetarium and 360 degree cinema, where the film totally surrounds the audience. We take the students on a tour of our solar system and look at the planets and their major moons while learning interesting and fun facts about each planet. The solar system tour is complemented by our planetarium show, which includes instructor-led night sky and astronomy presentations tailored to each level of the national science curriculum, Earth and Beyond. We're cleared for departure. Mission Control is an innovative and dynamic way of delivering curriculum, using space missions as a platform to actively engage students within the Star Center program. Missions include launching rockets, keeping a crew healthy during their journey to Mars, landing a spacecraft on the moon, controlling robotic planetary explorers, and exploring our solar system. Using touchscreen displays and headsets, the students can work at their own speed to progress through the missions. Mission Control can be used as an operations center to organize activities and investigations in the various parts of the Star Center, as well as out in the field, which will enable participants to develop team building and problem solving skills. The three large video screens are used to simulate a mission control. The transit pod is used to link the Earth side of the star center to the space side using a short virtual space flight. It starts with a countdown and launch followed by a short flight through space and ends with landing the transit pod at our destination. This sequence is used to immerse the students into the role-play element of the Star Center and helps build the suspension of disbelief. This is a low gravity area. The Space Lab has been specifically designed to create a multi-use environment to explore all aspects of science. The lab features a central workstation with an overhead display pod for working in groups. The lab's main delivery is via a suite of 20 workstations, each with a PC allowing direct interaction with touch-sensitive screens. With the use of headsets, the software talks the students through their exercises at their own speed, allowing the most to be extracted from the session. The Astrobotics Lab is used to explore all aspects of robotics, including systems and control. From the Astrobotics Workshop, students can look out onto the planetary landscape. The viewing area has four touchscreen computers to control our exploration rovers on the planetscape or run virtual robot simulations. There are four workstations that are directly connected to robot arms. The arms can be controlled and programmed from the touchscreen PCs. The airlock is a themed area used to link the Space Lab, Astrobotics, Transit Pod and Planetscape. It is equipped with space suits and helmets for the students to wear when they go on their EVA, extravehicular activity or moonwalk. 
the planetscape is used for our EVA and robotic exploration using the planetary rovers. Once the students are wearing spacesuits and helmets, they can explore the planetary landscape. They're able to study the rock types, geological formations, and look for evidence of life. Using remote grabbers, the students can collect rock samples and return to the space lab to investigate them. The Star Center. Space to inspire.